First and goal for the Queensman. All right, welcome back to Sack to the Future, week number six. It's the Rams and the Bears, which means uh, Tears 89's on the line as the Rams owner, but also a special treat. Vinny is on the line as well, Vinny X Wolf, although he's back in 1870, so his comments yes. may not make sense to anyone. I am talking from the future, from the past, I should say, <laughs> watching a college football game in November of 1870. Meanwhile, uh, Rutgers has taken a 14-10 lead over Columbia in this ancient college football game. The Rams come in 3-1-1, one one. the infamous tie. Here's, here's my situation. Being that I'm in both divisions, I don't know who I want to win because I'm trailing both teams. Probably would rather the Rams win because the Packers are a little further behind the Bears than the Cardinals. Well, I don't know. The Cardinals are pretty bad. <laughs> so, good luck to both of you. Hope you both lose. <laughs> <sighs> well, the Madden ratings show the Bears is a six-point favorite. Did you happen to catch the Packers-Lions game from last night? I did. That was uh, a pretty disgusting display of Packer football. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. That's a big run there. The Packers won 29 to 8. Since the Lions won the first one, I guess I'm ultimately okay with it. Yeah, we split the season series, but next week it is Bears and Packers. That's true. All right, somebody just posted this joke to Bad Dad Jokes. What oh, is the only muscle a ghost can flex? Nobody? His glutes. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That good, credit for that goes to somebody named James Anderson. So congratulations, James Anderson. Ronnie Bull goes nowhere. Since I have no rosters to uh, actually look at, I'm going to enlarge you guys to full screen. Oh, Were you able timing. to get... That reminds me, I've got to do the little thing with the Bills because I'm down to one quarterback. I think I'm just going to move Rakowski for a couple weeks. Oh, I didn't rate him yet, though. So, But well, they already played this week, right? To, yeah, 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 I lost to you. Oh, that was this week. <laughs> Columbia. <laughs> the punt is taken at the one and brought back out to the ten. That's where Rutgers will take over. I was With telling her, oh, you guys have seen the, the trailer for Maximum Football 19. I can't wait till that comes out. It looks so much better than, the, than this one. I did see the trailer. It does uh it does look quite a bit better than the indie games have looked so far. Yeah. Well, at least he didn't drop it, but he wasn't past the first down marker. So the Average offense of the Bears does nothing. But at least they didn't turn it over, so. Rutgers will be punting on fourth down and 12. So were the Bears, by looks of it, in fourth and six. Hey, hey, hey. 
So seeing as though we're in two different times, let me propose this question to you. Which would you rather travel through time in, the DeLorean, the TARDIS, or the Time Machine from H.G. Wells' novel? <laughs> yeah. Agreed. See, my problem with... My problem with the DeLorean, as cool as it looked, is you never know what's going to happen when you re-enter. What you're going to hit. That's so why I kind of think I prefer the time machine. Because you're sitting there physically, can see everything changing around you. The TARDIS, it's a giant phone booth. I'm not a big fan of it. There's another option. You could quantum leap, I suppose. Oh. Really that bad, huh? No, it was just, uh, you know, Madden 18 makes you go backwards when you intercept the ball, but it ended up not mattering. My plug, I need my plug. And the uh, Columbia Rutgers game has settled down into a punt fest as Columbia will now punt on 4th and 7. Oh, shit. I just happened to look down at that interception. Nope, other end. Okay. Oh no, Columbia's gonna go for a long field goal. That is short. <clears throat> My team is very uneven this year as far as the offense versus defense. So I wouldn't be surprised What's it? What's that? No, I mean, I mean, my defense is amazing. That's how I'm winning the games, but my offense is so like average. <laughs> but I wouldn't. I mean, well, I that's, think... that's kind of holy shit. So the guy here, the Rutgers player, catches the ball. The Columbia tacklers on top of him. The Rutgers player stands up and basically back body drops the Columbia player down to the ground. Nice big run there for first down by the Rutgers quarterback. So the rules were different back then, you're saying? Oh, much different, apparently. Apparently it was uh, full-on 1990s professional wrestling. Wide open pass, and Rutgers is going to score a touchdown from 36 yards. And the Queensmen take a 20-10 to 10 lead. Yeah, I don't know if I were you if I'd complain about the offense. Oh, no, I'm not complaining. Oh, I mean, I guess I was kind of. But <laughs> it's it's just when I said that uh, they punted again, that's pretty usual. But if I ever run into a team that scores a bunch, or if I get behind, I think I might be in trouble with them. But. Hmm. And the extra point is good, and here in the second quarter, Rutgers leads Columbia 21-10, to 10, as they are the favorite. They should win. Although I can't change the ratings on these, this game, so it's really a crapshoot. Mm. Now, evidently in 19, I can. I tweeted um, the developers of Maximum Football and IMG Gaming, and they said that you can not only change the uniforms, the equipment, but also ratings. Evidently, I'm not live because this is quite a bit further behind. Oh, another touchdown. Oh. Now, as Brian, Ryan Moody 21 has pointed out, animations in Madden are what ruins the experience a lot of times. You see? Yeah, certain things it? come in when it makes no sense. And you guys, one of you was saying that uh, that's still happening in 20, where you just catch the ball. Oh, uh, Terrors. So in that rivalry game that we played, he caught the ball with his, never looked at it. Caught a touchdown pass. He never saw the ball. Fantastic. He got a huge. I'm not sure if that was in our game. I know that in the 
the game against John with the Colts and Giants game, uh, there was it was pretty even as far as stuff like that goes. But we did we both had the X factors lit up during the game, and it really, really you can tell. I mean, Saquon Barkley all of a sudden just became untouchable, and then he cooled off. I was able to get a, a gang tackle on him, which the good thing about that is, oh, there's a fumble, and Rutgers has the ball. Um, oh, and he picked it up, and he's going to run. So it's college football, which you can get up off the ground and run, apparently. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, I was able to gang tackle Barkley, and immediately his X Factor was gone. So you have to build it back up at that point. Andrew Luck caught on fire. I'm throwing, completing, I'm putting passes in that, that just, you know, you, you normally don't get to put in. Mm -hmm. But then I had a sack and yep. the X Factor. So the X Factor disappears immediately once you get hit. Well, I, Which I, think I guess de I can understand, the, but. It depends what the factor is. So most of the yeah. quarterback factors, if you get sacked, you lose it. Yeah. Um, but there's some other ways to lose other things. I think, like, some of the yeah. running backs, if you get hit behind the line, if you lose yardage, then you lose it. Something like that. But it has to be that way, otherwise, you know, because they're so strong that if you just stayed in it all game, it'd be like NBA Jam or whatever. Well, that is. I mean, that's what it reminded me of, was seeing the X-Factor light up. It reminded me of NBA Jam catching on fire. Yeah. My next rivalry game, it will, I got the Bengals named and ready to be rated. It will be the 68 Bengals and Bills for me versus my son. Now, um... And I've told my son this. Don't expect him to win right away. But I do imagine that I am going to be the villain in this series, and anybody that does watch will be rooting for my son. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> so the quarterback spins away for no reason, gets the first down. First down, Rutgers. First and goal. Well, the game ends up a lot different. <laughs> John's had a bad week. In fact, he hasn't won yet in week six. Yeah, that wasn't uh, some great trick of mine or anything. It's because I turned into him at the last second, and I was like, oh, I'm this guy. <laughs> so I ran the wrong way at first. Then. So the Queensmen are now set up with a fourth and goal, and we'll go for a field goal of 18, 28 yards. And it's good. Rutgers is taking a 24-10 lead. Ooh, two players in the same zone here. I was... Well, you got the first down, so that's what counts. Hot route. Yeah. Hmm. We have reached halftime here in 1870. It's 24 to 10, Queensman over the Kings. <laughs> the winner will take on the College of New Jersey probably tomorrow night on this channel. If you just turn out, oh, never mind. I lost the viewer. I had two viewers for no. a second, so. How you doing, bud? Second down, or first down and ten. Second and seven in the Bears game. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. 
Well, a little too delayed, huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, not today, apparently. Oh, you know, offsides on Columbia. Oh, the Redskins and Giants are both four and two. What are the Cowboys? Oh, that's a crazy division. Who else did they lose to besides the Bears? Oh, the Giants, yep. Yeah. There's again the phantom fumbles that just seem to happen. Well, I know John, he's good at pressing the R1 button. I can't seem to get my finger to move up to R1 in time to hit it. I'm so used to just resting on R2. But by the time I think, oh, go for the fumble, it's way too late. Oh, what happened? Oh. Yep. Right. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Have you guys seen that special on ESPN, A Lifetime of Sundays? I have not. It's part of the NFL 100 series. It's very good. They're, they interview the four older female owners in the NFL, Virginia McCaskey, the Bears, mm -hmm. Hunt of the Chiefs, Ford of the Lions, and um, Rooney of the Steelers. And, of course, McCaskey's 96 years old. 90s, yeah, I know she's up there. Yeah. It's an interesting show. They talk about her relationships with the players, especially, like, uh, Brian Piccolo and Walter Payton oh. and how the... I guess that's the end of the first quarter I, w I didn't realize field goal out of Rutgers it's now 27 to 10 the one thing I do like about this game and I mentioned I think before you guys came on is that when you're editing the, the players you can give, let's say you have a two-way player, he can wear the same number on both sides of the ball. Now, I don't know if they'll keep that maximum football 19, but... Of course, the hard part for that is the research in college football rosters is damn near impossible from back then. Four six defense. <laughs> what did I go with quarter leagues? I just noticed there's seven twelve left in the third, and it seems like we, I thought I had seven minute quarters. Because hmm. I can't do eight. Oh, interesting. I didn't think I did fifteen because I can't skip in betweens. Okay. That Ooh, play never needs to happen again. Big defense in both games on that last play. And Columbia has to punt. Right. 
So I did find the uh, helmets for the 70s, 80s, and 90s on Madden 20. It's called the Scut Air Advantage. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's because we news. have. Uh, I'm uh, editing the 68 Bengals for this rivalry game, and there's Bob Trumpy. He wore his pictures mostly of him in the 70s, so I took my time and looked at all the helmets, and it's right next to the TK, R Riddell TK. Okay. Rutgers has made a change of quarterback. Number 99 is in, and he falls down. And it's nice to see the players get up and showboat in 1870, because yeah. I'm sure that happened. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as Madden showboating. The Bears only have 17 total yards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jim Brown is too hard to stop. Oh. <sighs> Gabriel's actually only. Yeah, I was just going to say that only one of his balls actually hit the ground. And back to the college game. Columbia is facing a fourth down and six as their quarterback can't seem to hit the broadside of a barn. By the looks of it, though, you would also brought up your audibles. <laughs> that would be the good catch. That was a weird looking thing, just a guy completely in midair with a Columbia under and it's now Columbia. Wow, you were cutting up all throughout that statement. I have no idea what you said. Oh, okay. The uh, Rutgers quarterback throws the ball, it's caught, but almost immediately he's hit and the fumble icon pops up. The ball flies into the air, Columbia's player catches it. And then gets tackled. So it was a weird looking play. The ball never hit the ground, but it was called a fumble. Second down and 10. Nice first down for the Rams.
Hey, Andrew. What? You know how I was editing the Bengals earlier and I showed you Bob Trumpy? Yeah. Well, here he is in 1991 as a commentator. That was Don Kirkie, not Bob Trumpy, but Trumpy's standing there. Not looking like a former NFL player at all. Oh, what are we at? Columbia, third and goal. In the end zone, touchdown, Kings. Columbia, originally founded in the 1600s as King's College. Today, wow, known open. as Columbia Lions. And not known for their football. <sighs> Although, if you watch ESPN at all, that dude, Marcellus Wiley, played for Columbia. So the two-point conversion is good, and Rutgers leads 27 to 18. Of course, by the rules of the game, By the rules of the game in 1870, a two-point conversion is actually meaningless and would actually cost them. They would not, it would not count. Because you could only score by kicking the ball over the goalpost. What was it? That was very strange looking. What happened? That was weird looking. That, yeah, that was very strange. The icons never came up for you to pass. Have you run that play before? Ah. Uh, okay. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if something's just wrong with that play. Yeah, that was it was strange from the beginning. And then the other thing that was strange about it is even though he took a... I know Gabriel's not all-world speed or anything, but uh, if he would have just taken off, it looked like he was going to get some yardage. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. So that's the end of the third quarter in uh, New Brunswick as the Rutgers Queensman lead the Columbia Kings 27 to 18. It's 10 minute games. Okay, 10 minute quarters. Well, I think it went seven for everything else, so. Oops. Hey, Gallimore's on positive yardage. Absolutely. 
pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time. Just wow. Twitter makes me want to bash my head against the wall. So you quickly hit R2. Going backwards. Rucker's going to be facing a fourth down. Seven forty two to go in the fourth. <laughs> well, that might be the best punt I've ever had. Did you have the backspin on it? Uh, no, it was just one of those high kicks. You just got lucky? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even, uh, obviously I haven't rated all the teams, but even the ratings I have done, they're already getting better in 64. The Cowboys, at least. Wow. No, I know. <laughs> I know. That's, that's getting a little ridiculous, kicking people while they're down. That seems to happen, too, especially to Terrors. The fumbles at a for no reason. Has anyone ever gotten more points than yards? <laughs> well, I don't know. If anybody, probably maybe the 2000 Ravens. They went through the stretches where they didn't score offensive touchdown in the whole month of October. <laughs> yeah. I just meant for a game, but uh, yeah. oh, I know, but 
They might have in one of those games. Yeah, it's possible. Maybe the Super Bowl. I don't remember the Giants offense doing much at all on that one. I was looking at the 96 NFL playoffs getting ready for the um, month of October, September in our group. And in the wild card game, we actually have a Super Bowl quarterback matchup. Starting quarterback versus starting quarterback. It's Brad Johnson versus Troy Aikman. Not exactly one you'd go down and remember throughout history, though. So Rucker's still sticking with his backup quarterback, and it's intercepted by Columbia. Oh, so with five minutes, eight seconds to go, Rutgers leads 27-18. I couldn't get through your line though. I didn't notice. Fumble by Columbia. Oh, Jesus. He gets up and runs. This guy looked like he was trying to be Superman diving through the air, slow motion. Well, you just changed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you have all four back yet, or are you still missing one? No. Touchdown, Columbia. They're trying to make it a game. It's now 27-24. 3.27 to go. They're going to go for two again. So again, in 18.70 rules, they would get no points for this touchdown at all. Two-point conversion is good. 27-26 record. Ah! Apparently, uh, Phantom's rooting for Columbia. <laughs> What's, what do you got against New Jersey, huh? <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing that college football started in, of all places, New Jersey. <laughs> all offense intended to everybody from New Jersey. And I will be <laughs> there in three weeks. I can't wait. Mm. <laughs> Go, we're going to Bill's Giants game. Me and John M. and our and our. It's an adult game. Me, John M., and a couple other adults. Would be on my first time to the Garden State. Try and stay out of the swamps. Atlanta defeats Toronto nine to four. It was a long freaking game, four hours. Rutgers gets a first down, 3.15 to go, they got a first and 10. 
as Ball picks up the completed pass. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Not sure if I'm embarrassed or <laughs> uh, proud of that. Well, if Buddy Ryan were on your team, you'd probably be punching your offensive coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buddy. Rutgers just burning clock. Another first down run by the quarterback. That would be Leggett picking up the first down. Well, now we need to get some serious injuries to guys that count, like Doug Atkins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the Packers play the Bears next week. <laughs> well, uh, Willie Gallimore. <sighs> Rutgers with a touchdown late in the game. Takes a 33-26 lead. And fireworks going off. How are you doing? Two thirteen to go in the contest. Rutgers leads thirty-four twenty-six. Based on the scoring of the time, Rutgers would have six points, and Columbia would have just two. Under two minutes to go, Rutgers has a second down and one. Oh, Columbia, sorry, Columbia has a second down and one, and then lob pass thrown into one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it just falls incomplete. I'm going to get stunned. I'm going to start the clock. Okay, bud. Quarterback sack. Got a no name. Nah. Yeah, 
Hey, my offense got points. Oh. Wow, the Vikings are also four and two. I guess. no, three and two. Okay. Yep. Man, this after that start, after that zero and two start to semi-pro teams, they've come back and have beaten Packers, the Oilers, and the Saints. And have scored points against the Saints and Oilers, like a point of you know, forty-seven and forty-two, I believe. Hmm. Rutgers with another touchdown as time is expiring. Oh. Just got a notification that the PS4 was going to enter save uh, power save mode because I hadn't touched it. And the exploit's good. It is 41-26 right weeds, man. The present day Scarlet Knights. Whoa, what? That is another thing that looked wacky. You climbed right over the top of him. Was that legal? I don't know. <clears throat> Is that legal? I'll make it legal. Oh my! Star Wars Episode One. No, what does it say? As time's expiring, the Columbia player is going to go 78 yards for touchdown. Not sure why the Rutgers guy following him didn't dive. He was one foot behind him the whole way. And the two-point conversion is good. So once again, no points allowed and are given in 1870. 41-34 <laughs> with six seconds to go. Or 7-2 under 1870 scoring. 7-2. Yep. The only points that counted were the ones that, where the ball went over the goal back then, so... Extra points field goals hmm. would be the only things that would count in modern day football. So going for two is useless if I was, you know, counting the 1870 score. Either way, Rutgers wins, so it's not like it's a big change. Oh, and there's still two seconds left. Rutgers up by seven, and as long as they don't throw a pull a John M and go for a long pass. They should be okay. We're calling it Pula John M now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and he runs for a five-yard gain, Leggett, and that's the end of the ball game as the Rutgers Queensmen advance, defeating the Columbia Kings 41-34. They will take on the College of New Jersey Tigers for the Whoa. 1870 National Championship. Until then, I'm Vinny Vincent. Sack to the Futures in the background. You can go catch out the remainder of the game on the Terrors 89 or Phantom Fighter channels. God bless America. Uh. All right, we need the DVD, bud. Which one should it be in? Saturday night's main event, I'm not sure. I'll put my chair away. Alright guys, you uh, have a good rest of the game. Hope we no injuries, and I will talk to you later. Alright, see you later. Oh man.
evens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone. Is the uh, Dallas playbook much different in 20 than it is here? Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, whoop. Yeah, the, uh, Bears playbook in 20 has a lot. It's way different than <laughs> the Bears 18, obviously, because Nagy's there now. But all these crazy formations and everything. It's a shame that all that, I mean, the interceptions at the beginning were all right. I guess it was more on you, but then the, like the climbing interception and the fumble to kick up and all these things. Well, but also that was like a play that wasn't, you know, it didn't show you what it was supposed to do. So that kind of. Yeah, but your defense has been good enough to where if it wasn't for all the others, I mean, I guess it would still be, I don't know, 4 or 17 or something. Right. Uh-oh. Vinny said he can't hear you on my broadcast. He, he joined the... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is... What? Did, did that bounce off your... Running back's hands or something else. Interesting. Yeah, I remember on one of the games you trying to figure that out because they kept putting the injured guys in. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Have you had viewers the whole time then? Down. 
Ooh, that didn't look like it felt good. Okay. Well, that's... Well, I was going to say that makes sense because I've been the Bears the longest, but you were the Rams last year because you started with the uh, extra teams last year. So I don't know why the Rams profile would have changed. Well, so that's two good things. One, I'm not giving up a bunch of yards, and two, I can help Jim Brown. I mean, not that he needs my help, but, you know, just make sure that he gets it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... That would be a shame. I was, uh, I don't remember who wrote it. It's one of the idiots at ESPN, but I read them. I read their articles anyways. Um, they were, yeah, they were, uh, talking about the, like, the greatest team all time. And then, uh, um, who to, like, the way he put it is who he put in the slot. And then he said, uh, like, he had some historical guy that you probably never heard of. And then um, the who you would start the argument with. So, like, for instance, he put uh, quarterback as Tom Brady. But then he said start the argument with Joe Montana and Peyton Manning or something like that. Um, but then when he got to running back, there was two running backs. And the first running back, it was Jim Brown. And it talked about him and said start the argument with no one. There's no argument. <laughs> I was like, nice. And then the second running back was Walter Payton. But then there was... Barry Sanders and somebody else that you could argue. Yeah, 56, although there was some pretty severe wind, but still, I don't, mm, you'd have to get extremely lucky with the kickers we have today. Although I think in six, yeah, it would still be the no heart girly. <laughs> I think he's a great running back when it doesn't matter. some San Francisco stuff. It's almost like this game trolls you. <laughs> because that was obviously just to make sure you didn't get your field goal. Yeah, 
Right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> no, I. Yeah, this. Uh, there's no defending the game on this one. Well, that's the thing, and I, I don't even know if EA Sports has ever offered a defense that they that momentum plays a thing. But even if even if so, like I could see maybe your guys run a little bit slower. They're not running as hard when you start falling behind. But like the weird tips and the just dropping the ball and kickoffs, so like the momentum wouldn't be that big of a difference. Right. Well, I figured if you want to call timeout, that's fine. But at least, uh, at least this will be it. Either way, whatever happens. It's the best way to keep me guessing, I guess, if uh, you don't even know. I guess he had two cho two choices to make sure the clock stopped. Either get out of bounds, which is what you probably would have preferred him to, or he could stop and drop the ball. Well, at least nobody got hurt. Now, I think the Rams might still be in first anyways with this. Uh, I think the Niners are three and two. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I don't know uh, what to say. Thanks for playing, but <laughs> the uh, compute the com the computer kind of seems like um, I don't know what uh, like a uh, the crowd in the debate or something where they're undecided, and then once somebody is winning, then they're like, "Oh yeah, that's that's my side." And <laughs> they cheat for the winning team, the team that's already on top. <laughs> and that's just a snowball. You held me to 75 yards. It's just that bottom number. Yeah, that's... Wow. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I, I want to say at least half of those were completely uh, computer made up. But anyways, that is it for me on week six. And you have one more, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, that should be interesting. Mending the broadcast, by the way. <laughs>